So today ZWO announced their new line of products at NEEF 2023 and I wanted to give you an idea of what products they launched and what the expected price is going to be and what my thoughts are about the new launches. So let's get started. The first product that they launched today was the ZWO AM3 mount. This is a smaller little brother to the very very popular ZWO AM5 mount. And as you can see in the picture over here, uh, this is a package that comes with the mount and the tripod as well. And the price in yuan is $97.90. So that translates to about $1,424 US, which is a good bit lower than the uh, AM5, which is currently selling for about $2,300 USD. And looking at some of the uh, other specifications of this AM3 mount, we can see that it weighs a little bit less than the AM5. It weighs 4 kilograms versus 5 kilograms for the AM5 mount. And its capacity is also lower. Without a counterweight, the AM5 can support 13 kilograms, which is 28 pounds, whereas the AM3 can only support 8 kilograms, which is 18 pounds. But with a counterweight, uh, the AM5 goes up to 20 kilograms, uh, which is uh, a good bit more, which is 44 pounds. That's the same as the popular EQ6R mount. Whereas the AM3 with a counterweight can only support 14 kilograms, which is 30 pounds, which for a mount that weighs only 4 kilograms is still very, very impressive. So uh, yeah, considering uh, how lightweight it is and how much it can hold, this would be a great mount for anyone who wants portability above all else. But considering it's only one kilogram lighter than the AM5, if budget is not an issue, the AM5 might still be a better option if you have a heavier scope. The next product that ZWO launched uh, today was the ASI 2600 MC Duo. Now this is very similar to the currently very very popular ASI 2600 MC camera but the main difference here as you can see on the screen is that there is a tiny little chip right above the main imaging chip. You can see it better in this picture and that is actually the guide chip. Now, this is quite innovative for CMOS cameras. It's basically like having a built-in off-axis guider. So you don't need to use a separate guide scope and you don't need to use an off-axis guider. So uh, as long as your scope has a wide enough imaging circle, you'll be able to guide with that little, little micro-sized chip right above the main chip. Based on the price given over here in Yuan, uh, this camera is expected to launch for about 2,000 US dollars, which is pretty similar to the 1800 US dollars that the regular ASI 2600 MC goes for. Now you might be thinking that uh, you know this this is the first time you've seen this but actually another company called S Big back in the CCD days tried this already and it worked in some situations but it didn't work so well with monochrome cameras because you don't want to filter in front of your guide camera. Uh, so it, it becomes very hard to find guide stars, for example, if you're using an H-alpha filter or an oxygen filter. So there are some downsides, but in this case, ZWO has released this feature with an ASI 2600 MC, so that's the color camera. Uh, so there are some concerns about whether this would still work okay if you're using a duo band filter, for example, uh, like the L Extreme or L Enhance in front of the camera whether you'll still be able to guide, but I expect ZWO to have fairly large and sensitive pixels uh, on the guide camera as well, so I don't personally expect that to be an issue. So the next product that ZWO launched today were four imaging refractor telescopes. Now the first one here is the ZWO FF65 APO that you can see at the top left. And that's expected to be priced around 870 US dollars based on the prices given there. And it has a focal length of 416 millimeters and a focal ratio of f6.4 based on the fact that these look very, very similar to the PHQ series from ASCAR. So they should have the exact same specifications as well. The next one is the FF80 APO. Uh, that should be priced around 1300 US dollars, I expect, and that should have a focal length of 600 millimeters and a focal ratio of 7.5. 
The next is F107. And I'm expecting that to be around 2,000 US dollars from the price given there uh, in Yuan. And that should have a focal length of 749 millimeters and it'll be an F7 scope. And the last is the FF130 APO, which is the big one and that should be around 3,400 US dollars. And that should have a focal length of 1,000 millimeters and a focal ratio of F7. And all of these scopes should be quite good at up to full frame sensor sizes, which is, uh, which is always good. And uh, they definitely look very, very similar to the Ascar PHQ series, so I'm quite confident that you know, they, they should perform the exact same as well, which is good news. And the next um, announcement from ZWO was this camera rotator. Now this is an electronic rotator, so using whatever software you are using to control your telescope, you should be able to rotate your, your camera uh, to frame your target at any angle that you want. And this also makes it very, very repeatable. So you can always set your camera back to whatever angle you previously were at very, very accurately if you want to go back and image a target that you had previously imaged. And ZWO has not provided any price for this uh, yet. So I can't guess what that would be. And last uh, but not least, uh, ZWO announced the C-Star, which appears to be an electronic telescope. Uh, so uh, according to the ad here, it weighs about three, three kilograms or about six and a half pounds, which would be quite nice for anyone uh, who wants to take it camping uh, or who just wants something very, very light and doesn't want to pack a mount and a camera and everything else. Of course, like some of the existing electronic telescopes, I'm expecting this to be fairly basic and it won't compare to uh, you know an actual camera and a big mount and a big telescope but for someone who just wants portability above all else this would be good uh, again no price has been announced for this but i'm expecting it to be quite expensive well thank you for watching and as more details come out i will keep you updated on this and if you have any questions about these uh, announcements so far or if you have any thoughts about them let me know in the comment section below so again, thank you for watching and clear skies.